Happy New Year, youngsters! Thank you so much for joining me today for our very first art activity of a brand new year. Very excited. My name is Jenny. I'm a teaching artist at the Young Museum. And today we are going to create an illustrated book where you get to capture special moments in time. The project is inspired by Jennifer Bartlett's screen prints entitled Four Seasons. There is a sense of time passing in Jennifer Bartlett's Four Seasons. What details does the artist include to show the marking of time? Look closely for representations of weather, types of flowers, animals, and insects, for example. What images reappear throughout all seasons? What are some details or symbols that might represent change? One image I see throughout all four seasons is the deck of cards. Maybe this shows how there are things that we do throughout all the seasons, things that remain a constant in our lives. I see that there are butterflies in just one of the prints, representing spring, a time of growth and new beginnings. So as we begin this new year, let's draw the markers of time that we observe throughout the course of a day or maybe throughout the entire week. We will first create a special book to house your drawings. So let me share with you what you'll need for the bookmaking. So once you have your paper, you want to fold it into thirds, and you can do this by eyeballing it, or if you want to make sure you're really precise, you could also take a ruler and measure. And now, fold where my marks are, just like this. So I'm folding in, and I'm really rubbing the crease, and then I'll fold in once more. And we're going to fold into thirds one more time. And now we will fold in just like that. We'll fold in just like this. And now it should look something like that. Open your paper up and you'll notice it has nine sections now. Cut out the four corner sections. Once you have cut out your four corner pieces, your book will look something like this. Now before we move on to the next step in the process, I want to share a couple of options you have at this point. You could, if you wanted, move on to the next step just using this piece, and then in the end, your book will look something like this. However, if you wanted to take the pieces that you just cut off and reattach them to your book to make your pages longer, just use strong piece of tape and tape all the way around wherever you are attaching the pieces. If you decide to do that, then in the end, your book will be longer. It will look something like this. And now we are going to make our book cover. You will need a cereal box, a cracker box, any kind of thin cardboard you can find in your recycling. So open up that cardboard box and then with a pencil, trace the rectangle all the way around two times onto your piece of cardboard. And then cut out your two rectangles. So here are my two pieces that will become my book covers, but as you can see, before I attach 
the cardboard pieces to my book, I am going to find a nice piece of paper for my book cover. You can use magazine paper, you could use any type of paper, you have newspaper. The only thing I would suggest is making sure the paper you use is a thinner paper. So for this book, I think I will use rice paper again because I have quite a bit of rice paper. I'm going to put my piece of thin cardboard down and what you want to do is at this point you don't want to trace all the way around the edges you actually want a little space around the edges so do you see this this is a good amount this I would say is maybe an inch or so so leave about an inch around the cardboard and even if it ends up being a little too much it's not a big deal so there's my first piece I'll cut it out now just like I did with the cardboard I need two pieces so I'll trace this shape so once you have your two pieces of paper cut out now you are ready to attach them so I'm going to actually take a glue stick you could put glue on your cardboard or glue on your paper. I think I'll actually put glue in the cardboard. And as you can see, I am covering the entire surface, making sure I get the corners. So now I'm going to take the cardboard, find the center of the rice paper. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to press and rub to make sure it stays. Find the corner, cut to the cardboard corner. All four corners, corner to corner. Just like that. And now, put glue on this side. And then, it's almost like wrapping a present in a way. Fold just like that. I'll do the same thing to the opposite side. So I'm gluing just like that. And now take this corner and fold it in. I'll make sure I put a little more glue in the corners. And I'll fold again and it doesn't have to be perfect because you are actually not going to even see the side of the paper once you have glued your paper to both sides of your cardboard you will then glue the rectangle just like this after you have glued both pieces down then you're just going to glue the cover to the front just like I did here and then turn it over and you'll glue the other piece of cardboard to the back and then you have your book so you'll notice when you open it up it'll look just like this and then when you turn it over it'll look something like this now that you have your book made Think about what you might want to draw in your book. So remember, we are drawing special moments of our lives. So in this book here, I focused on just one day of my life. And then in this other book, I made one drawing for every day of the week. Here's my book where I just captured one day of my life. 
We'll open it up to the first page. And as you can see, the very first drawing I made that day was my breakfast. I had avocado toast and a tangerine. But then if we open it again, I made a drawing of one of my cats, Gamby, who I spent a lot of time with that day and who in this drawing is sitting and asking for food. And this is a drawing of the sweater I wore that day. It was pretty special to draw because I've had it for many, many years. It's my favorite sweater. And then finally, I went to the beach that day. And when I got home, I drew the sand dunes and the grass that I saw at the beach for a memory. In the center, I wanted it to be bright I wanted it to be colorful. I made this design drawing ferns and then I also wrote 2021. So this book represents one day of my life in the year 2021. And now I can close back up just like that. Have fun drawing and when you have completed all of your drawings, Open up your book and take a look at your illustrated collection of memories. Do you have a favorite drawing in the book? Do certain drawings bring back specific emotions or memories? How was creating a drawing about your day similar or different to writing in a journal? Thank you again for joining me.